Marcus, you were a corner mainly in uh, at Marine now, uh, more safety. Is it a tough adjustment? Do you like the adjustment, or what are your thoughts of that? I feel like it was a smooth transition because I uh, switched schools at first, and then switching positions, so learning the position was, I would say, I wouldn't say it was a, it was a hard transition, but it was pretty smooth. Uh, I had a lot of guys help me, had a lot of extra film study, a lot of extra coaching with the coaches as soon as I came in to try to get to know the playbook a little better, faster. Hardest part of the adjustment is what? Mm, I'll say from corner, you just listen to what the safety says. Now I'm at safety. Now it's like I'm the quarterback of the defense, so I have to tell those guys what to do all the time now. Do you like telling them what to do? I do, actually. <laughs> I like controlling the defense, yeah. You do. What do you think of Charles Woods? Uh, pretty good player, huh? Yeah, I love Charles Woods. Uh, as soon as I got here, he kind of was the one helping me out, learning the plays, uh, getting some extra work in. So, yeah, he's a great guy. Does that kind of speak to the talent that's at that level, the FBS moving up to the, you know, or FCS moving up to the FBS level? A lot of these guys are doing it and succeeding and having success. Yeah, it does. Uh, there's a bunch of FCS guys who can play at the FBS level, but maybe were overlooked or didn't have the offers coming out. So just getting that opportunity to transfer up and show what you can do at this level. What was your story? Were you overlooked? What? Oh, uh, well, coming out of high school, I didn't really go to too many camps. Uh, so my coach at Murray State had came to one of the games, and he just offered me right out of it, right after the game. And that was like the only offer I had, FCS offer, so I went there. Were you kind of a late bloomer, you think? Or? Uh, you can say so. You can say I was a late bloomer, yeah. Do you play with a chip on your shoulder when you're at a lower level, but you think you're good enough to play at a higher level? Yes, sir. Uh, well, I always kind of have that chip on my shoulder mentality, just no matter what level I am, because you know you're always going to be doubted no matter what you do, no matter where you're at. So you just got to keep that chip on your shoulder, play aggressively. So what is the difference at this level? You haven't played in the game yet, so you got to experience that. But just... You know, your experiences through the spring and now, what is the difference at this level? I feel like the big difference is the speed, the size, how the game goes. You know, the game goes a lot faster at this level. You know, the quarterbacks are, like, much smarter. They can read the defense way more. So just uh, I feel like that would be the, the biggest difference. Mark, I'm sure you had other opportunities for, for, when you decided to leave Murray State. What was appealing about West Virginia? What was What made you decide to? make this the place to play? Uh, just talking to all the coaches, it just felt like the the right move to make. You know what I mean? It just felt like they were trying to start something new here and bringing in a lot of transfers uh, and knowing that I'll have an opportunity to play at the highest level and kind of lead the youngest guys who are here. Charles' success or some of the other FCS guys, did that play a role in it? That they were able to come here and perform well? A die, another one? Uh... That, that kind of played a role, just seeing those guys do what they did at this level, like knowing that I could do the same. Is this an easy defense to learn? I would say, for me personally, it kind of is because at Murray State, we kind of had some of the same concepts, so it wasn't too hard getting adjusted to this defense. Mm -hmm. Not to get too deep into the weeds, but... Just give me some general, uh, what do you mean generally speaking when you talk about the same concept? Can you say that again? I say not to get too deep into this, but some of the concepts, what do you mean what was similar with what Murray State was doing and some of the things they're asking you to do here? Oh, it's kind of basically like, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but it's like, it's just like different call, like different uh, wording for some of the calls. So kind of running the same calls, but it's just different wording. Okay, so just terminology basically. Yes, yes sir, yeah. Mm -hmm. Concepts are the same. Right. Techniques. Right. Yeah. Okay. What is all the drills you do? What is the toughest one for you? The toughest drill? Mm -hmm. I feel like the toughest drill would probably be just playing the uh, inside technique. You know, at corner, 
you're always playing. You always got the sideline for your help. So just kind of playing inside. No hands drill where y'all have to put on the pads or the boxing gloves. Oh, luckily the safeties, we don't have to do that. No, it's just the corners, yeah. The corners complain about that? Yeah, they do. <laughs> but it will help them out in the long run, so we're all getting better. Some of your thoughts on some of the guys around you. I'm thinking like Malinger and I'm thinking like Burks, some of those guys. What, what's your thoughts on how they're performing? I feel like they're performing very well at a high level, to be honest. And I feel like we're hitting our peak just right now when we need to going into – like, almost finishing fall camp, going into game week. I feel like those guys, uh, Davis Mallinger, Aubrey Burks, uh, Jazeera Cox, all those guys in the room, I feel like we're getting better every day progressionally. And uh, I feel like we're peaking at the right time. You mentioned Cox. You ever share any experiences with him? He's another guy that took a similar path you did. Yeah, I do. Uh I'm learning, like, I'm still learning about everybody and their backgrounds, but as soon as he came here, we talked a little bit, got to know each other, and, uh, yeah, his story is similar to mine. He got a ring. Yeah, <laughs> he does. I think he has two, actually. Yeah, I think he has two or three of them, actually, yeah. He may need another hand. <laughs> Marcus, um, what was it like in the 2020 and 2021 seasons where you guys played the spring, right, mm -hmm. and then a really short off season, and they came back? That's... Probably no one else, maybe Charles has. Not a lot of guys have done that before. What was that like? Uh, It was kind of a weird transition because, like, going into the COVID year, we kind of had two off seasons. Then going to playing, having two seasons. Uh, But I liked it. Uh, We played more games and, like, just got to uh showcase our talents a little bit more. Yeah, way better weather. It was a little hot, though. It was a little hot, but better weather, yeah. I agree. Not to take anything away from Murray State, but the thing you appreciate here the most, locker room, weight room, food, what, what is it you get here maybe you didn't have there? Uh, I'd say the recovery, definitely. All the type of recoveries we have. And, like, uh, all the people in the building. There, everybody's like useful. Everybody's here to help you. We have like a lot of more, a lot more resources here. A lot more people, right? A lot more names to learn. Yeah, a lot more names to learn. A lot more pre people you can appreciate, though. Yeah. Do you have a cafeteria at all, like the one here at Murray? <laughs> no, sir. We had a shared cafeteria with everybody else, so I like that too. Let's go back to the the COVID year um, and the adjustments that. You know, had to make that year to, to be able to play games in the spring and the fall. Do you feel there are any lessons that you know you can take from having to play you know that short of an off season to having to come here and uh, learn this defense and make the transition from the FCS to the FBS level? Or do you think it's just two completely different situations? I feel like it's two different situations to be honest. I just feel like we had a during that uh, COVID season with those two seasons, we just really had to take care of our body a lot more. Best piece of football advice you've gotten? Mm, as a DB, I would say have a memory. Have the memory of a goldfish. Have the memory of a goldfish. Yep. If you mess up one play, you got to get that out your mind. Just got to go back to the next play. You don't have the memory of an elephant. Mm-mm. No. Okay. What's the toughest part for you when you do here, but it has to play a position where you have to be vocal? The toughest part for me... Mm. I'll say just knowing what everybody has. Like I said, uh, as safety, we have to be the quarterback of the defense. So just getting all the guys in the right position, uh, making sure everybody does their job. You say the toughest adjustments get to know people. You know, you get comfortable in a place and you make a bunch of friends and then you all of a sudden decide to get up and go someplace else. Is that How tough has that been? Uh, I would say it's kind of been an easy process because there, there has been a lot of transfers coming in too. So it's kind of like I'm not, the new, I'm not only the new guy. There's like a lot of new guys. So we're just getting to know everybody like the same. Everybody's getting to know us the same. So it's just mutual mm -hmm. in so a way. growing up and that tough for you. You're right. Transfer process, did a position change come up? 
Uh, well, it came up when I uh had got here right before the spring, right before uh spring ball. We made that transition. Um, corners, I mean, that's a cool position. It's like a, a marquee spot on defense. Safety can be a little bit more anonymous. Any reservations at all about kind of giving up the position you knew and that I'm sure you wanted to continue on climbing to try something new and different at a new spot? Can you repeat that one more time? Is there any reservation trying to go to a new spot, learn a new position when you knew corners so well, and that's kind of what you were trying to use as mm-hmm. a catapult to, to the FBS level? Well, I feel like playing corner at the FCS level, it kind of helped me. Uh to come here to play safety, and I can still use those skills. I still have those skills, and if they need me to go back to corner, I can because I still have that knowledge. Okay, anything else for Marcus? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.